I wanted you to know I went by to see Emmy. Well, how did she seem to you? She's about the same. She's hurt, she's angry, and she's upset. And I don't think I help matters any. What are you talking about? What happened? Well, I really feel lousy about this, but I just didn't know what else to do. Benny, what? Donna, she was determined to find out the truth. She said she had it coming to her after all those years we lied to her. Yeah, the truth about Billy Klein? Yeah, about how she was conceived and if it was true. And you told her. I didn't want to tell her, Donna, but she wouldn't let it go. She wouldn't believe me when I told her. Yeah, I think she did believe you, but with the line that Clyde has been feeding her, she just had to be sure. You know, I really think we should have told her the whole story when she found out about your past. Hey, 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 come on. You wanted to tell her. I'm the one who talked you out of it. I did my best to break it to her gently, but... There's no gentle way to tell a child that her mother was raped. I told her how much we loved her, how much we wanted her. But I don't really think any of it sunk in. Benny, you did the only thing that you could do. I don't know, Chuck. The kid was in bad shape when I left. No, she had to know the truth. Sooner or later, it was going to come out. At least she now knows that Billy Clyde is really a snake. I just hope she can handle it. Maybe I ought to call her, huh? Uh, honey, it's a little late. No, 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 let her call. Let her call. The kid's not asleep, and, and besides, I'm going to feel a lot better knowing she's all right. Sorry to bother you, but can I talk to Emmy, please? Uh, no, she's not here. Well, uh, but they, they're staying with you, right? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. Um, they moved out this morning. They moved? They moved? Well, do you know where to? Uh, no, Joey didn't. Tell me. This is great. I really got to talk to him. Uh, i tell you what, uh, Joey's going to be at the hospital tomorrow. Will you? You, can, you can find him there, and he'll give you the address. Uh, I really didn't want to wait till the morning. Donna, look, I'm sure Joey's taking very good care of her. You don't have to worry. I'm her mother, Tad. Of course I'm going I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I... Look, thanks. Anyway, I, I didn't mean to bother you so much. Bye-bye. They're not there? Oh, they got an apartment and Tad doesn't know where it is. Oh, I'm sure they're okay. I'm gonna go looking for him. What? what are you talking about? You're not gonna go running around town at this hour. I tonight. might as well. I'm not gonna get any sleep tonight. Donna, you can't. Oh, great. Uh. What in the world? Hello. Hi, Mrs. Sago. This is Joey. Joey. Yes. Where are you? Uh, I'm, I'm at a payphone. Uh, I wanted to tell you that uh, Emily Ann and I we got a new apartment, but we don't have a phone hooked up. So I just wanted to tell you that uh, the address, just in case there's an emergency or something. <sighs> That's real considerate of you. Okay. Uh, the address is. Uh, it, you ready? Yeah. yeah. 223 Cooper Lake Road. 223 Cooper Lake Road. I didn't know there were any apartments on that road. No, oh, it's not in a building. It's it's over a garage. Oh. Okay. Well, is, is Emmy all right? Uh, yeah, she's fine. As a matter of fact, I think I better get going because I don't want to leave her alone for that long. Oh, sure. I understand. Look, it was real nice of you to call. I appreciate it. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll give you a call just to let you know our phone number as soon as we get one. Great. Joey, give my love to Emmy, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I will everything, but everything's happened so fast that I couldn't, you know, have any time to go out and buy it. Joe, what, what, who, who? I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. I'll get it, okay? Well, no, okay. nobody knows that we're here. Tonight. I know. I don't know. Hold on. Hi. Hi. Sago? Joey, hi. I'm sorry we came by so late, but I really wanted to see Emmy. Uh, we won't stay long. I mean, your dad came, Benny came by and said he uh, saw you. I don't want to talk about it. Honey, don't you think it'd be better if you no. help? Angel, please. I know how upset you are. But at least now you know everything. And, and you can maybe understand why Daddy and I were so reluctant to tell you. Joey. It's okay. Uh, look, uh, I, know, I know you mean well and everything, but Emily Ann's kind of tired and we're about ready for bed, so... Oh, of, of course. I... I just really wanted to come by and tell you how much I love you. Honey, I think we should leave. Yeah. Angel, if you need anything, anything, please promise me you'll call, all right? And I want both you kids to know you have our full support. Uh, thank, thanks. Uh, 
I hope you don't take this wrong, but next time I think it would be better if uh, Emily Ann would call you before you came over. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, and you'll, uh, you'll let us know when you get a telephone number, huh? Yeah. Uh, you kids take care. Uh, like the place. It's nice. Yeah, it's cozy. Night. You okay? 